out to write engaging captions for social media. Now, um, we also know these frustrations. We've already gone through them already. I'm not going to beat a dead horse because we all feel the same way. Now, people tell me oh, quite often, I have writer's block. I'm not a writer. I'm frustrated. Now, the thing that we want to do when it comes to creating captions is I know, I talked to my mom this morning because a block that was coming up for me in just all reality, I'm like, I feel like I'm coming on Creative Live and this is going to be broadcasted for free. And what I feel is the thing I preach to people is don't sell show. And what I feel like I'm doing is I never want anybody to think that I am selling Social Curator. Make no mistake, I have a business and that's the thing I want to push. But I am not coming here as an infomercial. But what I show is what I preach and what I create. And this is me in my truest form. So when you hear me talk about these Instagram caption templates, these Facebook caption templates, it's because it's the thing that I do, I teach, and people use efficaciously. So there's that. I want to be a 100. So. I tell people that I promote caption templates to save you time. Now, when you join Social Curator, we ask you to take a five-minute quiz to determine what stage of Social Curator you are in, because do I expect somebody who's just starting out to go in and have an IGTV channel and a YouTube strategy and a Facebook? No, we're all at different paces. And so as a result of using it all at different paces, when you're just starting out and you don't know how to write a caption, the templates are perfect for you. Now, if you're an advanced person who knows how to tell their story and just needs like a creative push, like, oh, I see what she did. And I've had members of, curate, of social curator who've been in there for two years and they're like, they see it, I got it off of my web, off of my own. These are the different stages. So all I am proposing is that you could sit there and try to beat your head against a wall to find the level of creativity that you want, or you could look at a caption and use it in one of five different ways, depending on where you are. So what we're going to do now is pop into the video of how our small business owners were using these captions to modify an event. Okay, so now we're going to have a lot of fun. Up until this point, we have discovered who our dream customers, our target market is. We've created content that they find appealing, and we started applying a strategy to it. How are we going to show up? How are we going to communicate to them? How are we going to find the gap in the market and put our businesses there and show up every day online? We've gone through and seen a gallery of images for each of our business owners, and they have selected 30 images to plan a month of content in just a few hours. And we're going to get into that right about now. So you all are in Social Curator right now. And what we're going to do is expedite how you are going to plan for your month of content. I'm going to do a brief overview, and then we're going to work on a couple captions together to showcase a couple things. How different each of the caption templates are, the flexibility that you can use to, to use them and make them your own. And then we're going to showcase how easy it is to put them into an Instagram planning app. And then how you will, from there, go through and stagger your content on Facebook. Cool. So when you log into, so you're going to log into, I always suggest when you're brand new to Social Curator, I love starting with issue 12. That is what we call our 30 day Instagram challenge. So you are going to click on that issue that's going to be in your account right now. You could, no, you can click on my subscription in the upper right hand corner. And as you scroll down the page, you are going to see a basic welcome note and what we call the power guide. The power guide is going to be an overview for the month of me talking and explaining what you're going to do for the month. And then we have our action plan. I'm going to get to that in a second. Now, as we scroll down through the site, you are going to see 30 captions. And all of these are going to correspond with like in the month of June. June 8th is National Best Friends Day. We now have content to, to go towards that. Uh, in June is Father's Day. We create content for that. And now from your business perspective, these photos might not work well with your feed, but you're like, okay, what about getting dad a throw blanket? Like just stuff that you can, or maybe getting dad's dog a dog um, kind of bandana. So we're thinking about those types of things. And maybe Caitlin would be highlighting um, a, a specific Amazon reseller who does really great dad gifts, right? So we're being aware of the content in advance and then working backwards. So as you go through, you're going to find uh, captions and photos that are going to be reflective. So for instance, June 30th is World Social Media Day. This is a great way for you guys to join the social conversations and like find moms who might be interested in social media and never know that your business existed by jumping into a popular national holiday hashtag. Like I call them silly national holidays, but they're great for yeah, social yeah, media. Like, so yeah, I mean, a lot of people do. They're a lot of fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the bottom of the page, but you'll see that there's going to be content that's going to 
start falling specifically into categories and take note that they're going to have photo ideas. So even if the social curator photos don't match with your brand, all of them, that's okay. You're going to have a way to pick what does fit with your brand and then find a way to create that content on your own. Now we're at the bottom of the page and this for uh, business owners, it would be bonus content. We know that uh, uh, quotes do really well. So we will provide quotes for, uh, for business owners if they don't know how to make it themselves. But since we're here at the bottom of the page, what we're going to do is uh, work on a caption. But before we do that, I am going to show you the action plan so you have two ways to uh, engage and learn from it. So what you're looking at right now is issue 12 of Social Curator. This is what you get every single month. This is gonna be a PDF. We're gonna walk you through exactly how uh, this Instagram challenge is gonna work. Every month we go through a new social media topic in this particular issue. We are going and focusing on Instagram. So um, as you get to page, uh, if you get to page six, we, I'm always goal driven. I want curators to set goals and say, where did I get according to it? There's no such thing as missing a goal. We're just going to set a goal. And so here we're going to start with, and this is what we're going to do at the end of today, is how many Instagram challenge followers do you have? How many likes do you have? How many comments per post? Um, I want to, what your goals are. I want to have this many followers in 30 days. We do 30 day benchmarks because we know it's attainable in 30 days. So as we go through that, what you're going to see denoted are our categories. Right? So each of our categories are going to have a color. So yellow is behind the scenes. Blue is about me. Red is my why. Indigo is the benefits. Indigo. <laughs> Green is showcasing your product or service. Orange is your personal insight. And purple is your inspiration motivation. We want to make it as clear as possible. But just to make it even clear, what we have is a 30-day Instagram challenge calendar. So all you have to do is you can you could pick up, you could start your 30 days whenever the heck you darn well please right? But all our focus is to show up every day for 30 days, see what ch changes that uh, we can make. So what we have here is a great starting point. So if we know that, and we know that our, uh, well, one, we're going to celebrate. And then also towards the end, we're going to be able to find out our results. So this is what we're going to do. Now you have a whole overview. And now that you know, we're going to be taking these things into categories. What we'll then do now is we'll go back into Social Curator, and you can absolutely scroll up to the PDF and be looking at what ca which captions are going to be the ones that you want to lay out. But for right now, let's hop in to your Instagram planning apps. So what you'll see in the lower right hand corner of the caption is a button that says copy text. All you have to do is click on that. You'll copy that text and drop it in your case planally and in Caitlin's case plan. So all you have to do now is you'll be able to fill in the blanks accordingly. So what we're going to do is uh, let's just work through this last one together. It's at the bottom of the page. It starts with the hook. Let's play a game. Remember, we're going to go through the hook, the two to three insights, and then the call to action. So I'm going to read it out loud. Let's play a game. Hook. Take stock. Write the segment of three things you're grateful for. Do you see what we're doing? Two to three insights. Feel free to elaborate or keep it super simple. I'm staying simple because I think this list speaks for itself. I say blank, blank, and blank. And then we give examples. Roots 3 from Press Juicery. Amazon Prime same day delivery. A. Uh, season 2 of Big Little Lies. Like, we're giving you ideas. Obviously, they're not going to be yours, but how are you framing it? Because what do we want to do? Drive engagement. It doesn't matter how big or small, but share your list in the comments below. Call to action. Okay, so what was going to be the, the main thing that we're going to be talking about is uh, to save you time. And that's just the conversation. Because I know that there have been uh, pop-up uh, competitors to Social Curator, and I know that people can go up, buy their own stock photos. And I know all of those things. And yet I remain undaunted because our value proposition is the ability to understand and synthesize, number one, what it means to be part of a community for accountability. Because I can show you the way, but if you don't do it, it doesn't matter. When you're doing it with a group of people, it changes. And then to save you time. Now I want to be very open and disclose how some things work for some businesses and others don't. But the, actual, the, the, the amount of efficacy doesn't matter as long as you become more cognizant of the strategy, case in point. When I was working with uh, Highway 3, and we're gonna get into how they plan their content right about now, uh, we're gonna show them uh, how, how they're doing it, is 
at the time, which still remains today, they post three times a day to their Instagram account. That level of volume is very different from the person who's showing up three times a week. So they're doing a ton of posts. So when they had to go through and list out all of their categories and all of their topics, they were like, Jasmine, it feels like I'm mapping a beautiful mind. Like, I don't know which way to go. It became very overwhelming. And that was okay. It opened my eyes to show that there are businesses who run their Instagram accounts very different. So then at the end of four weeks, I had a conversation and Aaron and Trisha said, what we decided to do is go old school. Yes, we have a planning app, but they also have a whiteboard. And each day on a whiteboard, they have these like, um, magnets, benefits about me, da, da da And so they had to visually lay it out. And I thought to myself, good for you for doing the hard work. It took you three and a half weeks to figure out what's our system. My job isn't to give you the system, my job is to show you and then you make it according to your own. So what you see here is them being like, holy God, we're trying to rethink our entire system. What we know now is they figured out their system. Did it take them four weeks? Yes, watch what they do in four months. So let's go into that video now. Now we see where we're going, right? We have a clear path to save us time, to stay on brand and extend the conversations and drive engagement. So I'm gonna pop over, I'm gonna bring up the Highway 3 Girls ladies team are logged into their social curator. And we're also gonna log into their Planoly. Now what I'm seeing right now, what I wanna show on the screen right now is they have organized their post in Planoly and that's what you're seeing now. We're scrolling through. Now if you'll notice in the upper left hand corner of each post it says you. That means that it has not been uh, posted yet. So if you scroll down their list, they have already populated other photos. Now this was earlier on before we started our training, but you'll see they have a lot of user generated content and that is good and that's great. So you means that it's unscheduled. If we click here on the center tab, that means that it is, uh, it would be, these are, already posted. these are already posted. Yeah, absolutely. So they're not scheduled right now. Okay, we'll great, because they would be denoted. They would it be would denoted if they, if they were, were scheduled. scheduled. Absolutely. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the unscheduled tab and ladies, I'm gonna let you take it over. So you'll pop here. Okay, so let's go to Social Curator. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna click on the copy text. But if we're in there and we're talking about three things about- uh, Three things, it has to be three, three things we're grateful for. That's what we're gonna yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now what we can do is we can pick anywhere on this feed right now, three things that you're thankful for. And like Liz, any, post, any photo, any like any photo right now, because this is the beauty of it, right? We have the photos, we have the collateral. Okay, there we go. That's true. And then, so then copy, so and, then paste copy and paste it, and yeah. in Apple, it would be Command V. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, the, we're used to these are touch. Of course, I know. Too, oh no, I know. I totally, handy. I I totally get it. I keep so doing that to my home. Now what we time. have is we have a we have a caption with three blank spots and we have um, inspiration here. But okay. since we know like your inspiration is not gonna be our inspiration, yeah, yeah. we'll delete that. Great, so now all you have to do is pick three items that you want okay. to, we'll go to delete, yep. great. And are we and speaking as so this is team, a or? great, a great, a great, a great thing. So you guys so get to, you guys say. get, we say. I like the fact that you guys would say we, but whenever it's just like a photo, just say of you, yes. you could say I, then or if it's a photo of her and then you're writing it and be like, happy birthday to my well, sister. Well, see, we've, we've struggled with that because we've done that. And so we didn't know like if we need to, at the end, do I need to put like who's saying it? No. And, I mean, it, people are smart. People, people are smart, they get yeah. it. If they read the comment, they'll get it. Okay. Great. So I love, love, love what just, what just happened I mean, here. I love, love, love. So be, because you guys are a team, one thing to take into consideration is that yeah, we'll change a couple things. We'll change three things you're grateful for, fill through or love it, we'll, or keep it super simple. I'm staying simple. So what we're just going to do is you guys can do this or you can give it to your social media manager and say, hey, you like, yeah, change, change it for us, prep it for us, have her go through and so Bahama we say, because I think so it would so be throwing a little bit we. of fun in Like, there. so if you're throwing the Bahamas fire, then so it needs a... we're staying simple because we think this list fixes for itself. We say our kids being able to work side by side and Bahamas. 
It doesn't matter how big or little, but share your list in the comments below. This is super cute. You can even add an emoji. It needs an emoji or something. Right, right. like think. the tropical so, drink yeah, emoji. So, Great. Because people, yeah. people won't, yeah, yeah I think. Uh, yeah, or you could just say, or say our favorite drink. Our favorite drink of Bahama. Bahama. Yeah. yeah, I think you should add that in there. Okay, go ahead. Like, add it in, add it in. Because not everybody knows what a Bahama Mama is. I didn't either. Like Now I'm just going to be looking for it on every <laughs> It's like, not menu. on every menu. We yeah. go to a lot of places and have to tell them what to put in it. Okay, so while you guys are focusing on that, Caitlin, do you want to read uh, any amendments? I mean, we're, this is just a free yeah, flow. Yeah, so I obviously have the same one, then I use the donut picture because I wanted to start with that. Cute. And then I put my three things. I did take the Amazon Prime because that's what I do. So <laughs> the Amazon Prime, pink donuts, and crazy toddler. Cute. Oh, cute. Very, cute. Very good. Good. So what we're this noticing now. I know. <laughs> hey, Amazon Prime is life changing, oh, y'all. Yeah, really like, I order something and I get it in an hour. I broke a, oh, I got my, I broke oh, my French well. press, Amazon Prime on my porch an hour later. You guys, yeah, they don't do that in, our, in the Midwest. Let, <laughs> you guys, let me just tell you. You guys, struggles real. Ooh, yeah, Amazon, yeah. I'm telling you. Uh, does Amazon want to sponsor this? Creative Live, Amazon. We're open for sponsorships. Um, okay, so this is great because what we've just done is we've personalized the caption, and then the fa the, the more you do this, the faster you're going to get. So now what we're going to do is, Caitlin, you're going to save Highway Three. You're going to save. Great. So now let's try this one more time. It's just building out a pattern. Um, okay, so we have our seven categories and then we have topics underneath that. Mm -hmm. That would be what we just did right now would be a really good uh, about me or insights, right? Because yeah. we're talking about three things that you guys are inspired yeah. by or three things that would help define you yes. as a business. Okay, so inside of Social Curator, we're gonna scroll up to do another one together. Let's focus on... Uh, Something that works really well on social is travel, talking about holiday plans. It gives insight into who you are. So, Caitlin, I'm looking at this one. It says, I'm hatching a plan. All right, perfect. Okay, cool. Okay. And so uh, the caption reads, I'm hatching a plan to get out of town a while. It looks like I'll have blank, a solid six days, two glorious weeks, Labor Day weekend, to spend blank anywhere in the world, in France, Switzerland, a staycation. This season, I'd love to hear your recommendations. I'm hoping to travel solo, coax my husband into leaving the kids with grandma, keep the actual travel to a minimum while relaxing. The world's my oyster. What do you recommend? So what we just did is we did the hook. I'm hatching a plan to get out of town. Two to three insights. How long are you going? Where are you going? Who are you going with? Call to action. What do you recommend? And we also mentioned the world's my oyster. So we decided to include a picture of oysters. Now, this might not be on brand for you guys, yeah. but what we're gonna do right now is I'm hatching a plan to get out of town a while. Based on what you have shown on your planally, I'm hatching a plan to get out of town for a while. Based on these photos here, there are photos that would denote I'm at hatching, a, hatching a plan to get out of town for a while. To me, I would chose this one. It's mm -hmm. like, it's got, it got uh, the things I didn't do yesterday. I should have packed my bags. But then we have here a photo of your product, right? So we're subconsciously inter like putting on top of this right here, a photo of your product mm -hmm. based on our product photo shoot, mm -hmm. a list of things that didn't go there. I'm planning, I'm hatching a plan, get out of town. Of your three insights, oh, I should have packed my bags. That would work there. It would also work, another option that I think would work really well for you guys would be, I'm hatching a plan to get out of town. This Polaroid. That's the one I was thinking. Cool. I like that one. And my thing also, or one that just spoke to me was the, this. Exactly. Only because We're on the same freaking that's, page. That's, my, that's exactly. where we would be going. Exactly. Good. <laughs> but that's really, really good. And the fact that like we all thought of the same ones already showing, you guys get it. Yeah. You guys are connecting the dots. So uh, is there one that sticks out right now that you guys would like to be, I'm hatching a plan to get out of town? I don't know. That one's good. Great. So then what we're going to do is we are going to get into... Uh, yeah. Yep, we're going to copy this text. Okay. We are going to put it here in Planoly. And now we have our blank spaces. And so okay. because you guys are doing it together, things to note, we, yeah. and then you're gonna fill in the blank. Now yeah. I could tell like if it's a, a partnership and sometimes people in social security are like, well, we have a lot of people on our team. Well, yeah. we can highlight a single person. Maybe you're going on vacation and you're not. So then you mm -hmm. say that in a caption and be like, oh, well, Aaron's going away with her family. I'm holding on the fort. Aaron's going to do, 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 do. Or you could say we. Okay. So in this particular case, now you have to think as you're planning out this month, like you guys are planning out for the month of May, 
Is there anything that you guys are doing or getting away? Or perhaps, and I if you're- I would love to be Okay, that. so <laughs> then that's guess, the I caption. Was, like, that's the caption. That's the caption. We would like to, but- That's the caption. That is 100% the caption. You could change it. I'm hatching a plan to get out of town or a while. And here's the thing. I don't know when that's gonna be, but. It's okay. You don't even have to denote that. I'm hatching a plan. Y'all, it doesn't have to be in May. It yeah. could be in September. Yeah. But what you're asking for is recommendations of where people want to go. That's okay. And we've done and tried that a little but, bit, but yeah, not in this way. So. Okay, yeah, great. Perfect. So then what we're going to okay. do here is uh, have you guys just kind of chat that over real okay. quick. You're going to fill in the blanks. How many days? And we'll figure that out. Because yeah. I mean, yeah, we kind of are okay. our favorite, but it'd be good to like, get their exactly. like, other but see, this is like all we're Yes, this is all we're doing. And people love, that's one thing that's really fascinating about social is people love giving recommendations. People love giving yeah. tips. People love helping. And if you respond to them, yeah. it makes them be like, wow, maybe Highway 3 will go to like St. Pete's in Florida. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, okay. So, Caitlin, how are you pacing right now? I'm, I'm done. She's Ooh, so okay. Good. So good. now, now, uh, okay. So I'm going to juxtapose. This is the same template. This is where the same starting point. I'm going to showcase how different they are. So okay. uh, I'm going to have you read it, Erin. Oh, okay. Uh, we're hatching a plan to get out of town for oh, get out of town a while. It looks like we'll have a full weekend to spend at the beach this summer, and we'd love to hear your recommendations. We're hoping to take our families and relax for a few days, if we can do that with our crazy kids. What beaches do you recommend? Great. So we'll save that. Already locked in, ready to go. Okay. Um, Caitlin. All right. I'm hatching a plan to get out of town in a while. Every year, my husband and I pick a different place in the world to spend a week together. I would love to hear your recommendations for the most adventurous place you've traveled. The world's my oyster. What would you recommend? Great. Very nice. So, very different, mm -hmm. different tonalities. Same starting point. Now, the more that you guys do this, when you're yeah, looking at yeah. something, it says this is like I'm looking to hatch a plan. That might be great when you're just starting out. So we have we have five we have five stages of a curator, yeah. right? We have our we have our beginner, mm -hmm. and we have a very we have an industry leader. And when you come into social curator, we'll be taking a quiz to place you in there. Now, when you first come in, I just want to get you consistent. Good Lord, have mercy. Just get them all out there. Yeah. Now, when you look at a caption, maybe in two weeks when you guys are working on this, like I'm hatching a plan that doesn't sound like my voice. It'd be like, yeah. pack your bag, girl. I'm going here. That, so small yes. little nuances, but you start seeing the pattern, the hook, the two to three insights, the call to action. This is just to save you. I can't help but think a little bit back to a conversation that Chelsea and I had in her hot seat. And that was how important is it to show up every day? I cannot give you a concrete answer. I can just say that what works is consistency. And I know that there's this temptation that every post that we must put out must be 110 of who we are and what we do. And I want that for you. Do you need it? No. Because quite honestly, when I hear that you have a cache of images that you're not all that excited about, but you're still not showing up every day, something not right. So it's either you do a lot more heavy lifting with your photographer in advance to get you the images so that you do show up because I know you're a curator and I know that you're an advanced, like you're not the starter. So what I need you to do is to set aside and we're gonna go through this tomorrow, a 45 minute workflow. And this is what we do. So you put aside 45 minutes a day and you show up and you engage and you grow. That's my big proposition. So I give you the tools. Now you can find reasons why you'll succeed or excuses why you're too busy or won't work.